Hello everyone and welcome to Chatelaine Makes. I'm Lorraine. So this is a Timu haul. I will probably insert another video at the end of this one because I am expecting at least one more uh, delivery, uh, which will probably be sometime next week. So uh, today is Thursday, September 19th. Okay, so I'll show you what I got. Um, let me pull up my app here and let you know the prices. So I'm going to do that. Okay, here we go. Alright. Sorry for the crinkling. I do take this stuff out and just stuff it in another bag. Because there was a few items in it that um, was for the household. Okay, so... First off, I got this. This is a vacuum sealer pump. Okay. Uh, now, that was originally $219. I did, however, get a price adjustment on that. Okay. More crinkling, sorry. I got a couple of crochet hooks. This one is a three, three millimeter. Okay. And this one is out. Even on the right side, no. This one is a 2.5. So the crochet hooks I paid. Okay, three millimeter, a dollar and seventy nine. I did get a price adjustment on that, and the same with the 2.5. This is a little comb thing for cleaning your hairbrush. That was uh, 80 cents, but I did get a price adjustment on that. Uh, safety eyes. This is 18 millimeters. Um, 338 I did get a price adjustment on those. Now I got another package of these. And this package of 10, so 5 pairs. That one was um, green. And this one is silvery. So these are the ones that come with the little disc that you put underneath. I did get some uh, beads for um, making rosaries, 100 pieces, these are rose ones, so they're off-white with the rose imprinted on them, 
they were $1.61. I got two price adjustments on that. I got some more um, beads. Um, these are gradient beads. These were 50 pieces at 8 millimeters. I was a dollar 61 and I did get a price adjustment on those. This here is a two pack of Um, these markers will tell you if you have a counterfeit bill or not. Okay. Uh, they were two pack was uh, two thirty seven. Okay. So what happens is when you mark on it, if it marks black, it's counterfeit. If it's like a highlighter part, then the bill is good. I believe that's the way it is. I'm just going to pause this and get a bill out and show you. Okay, so here's where I marked it. Now it comes up, it's like highlighter, kind of yellowy, which disappears on your bill. And then here's Paper. So if this was a bill and it marked like this, the bill was no good. Okay, this is, and these are uh, um, several different denominations, okay, or currency. Okay, I'll put that over there. All right, so I'll pull that up and tell you the description on these. I got these for when I do markets. And also at work. Because I work across the street from me at the Dollar Tree. So if we get any uh, like larger bills, we want to make sure it's good. There we are. So, so that was. Alright. So uh, it says portable money maker in brackets, two counterfeit pens. A water-based money detector, small mini money detector. Water-based pen can be used to identify the authenticity of important items. Okay, so it shows uh, U.S., um, Great Britain. Uh, so I'm not sure what nationality that one is. Blue flag with a circle of uh, gold stars. Okay, so uh, it shows the U.S. bill, the um, British pound, and the euro. Okay. And then it has a video along with it to show you the difference. Now, I know with um, Canadian currency, uh, phony bills are slightly smaller than the regular bills in size wise so um, it's a good thing to have if we're doing markets okay because um, you can't always um, you don't want to be let, be out um, so if somebody buys something Say they have a $50 bill and they buy something that's $10, okay? And they pay with the phony $50 bill. So you're out your $10, plus you're out your your $40 that you gave them back, okay? For your total of $50. All right, so. And then, Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got some coasters. A set of coasters. Comes with the rack. 
these are Halloween ones because my market's coming up next month. Uh, it's on the 26th of October, so I thought maybe the coasters might go good. So we've got pumpkin. This one here, so cupcake. Another pumpkin or jack lantern. The mummy pumpkin. I like that with the little tail for the band aid, the bandage. Okay. This one here with all the goodies in the top. A pirate pumpkin. I guess that's supposed to be his boba drink. And a, a witch pumpkin. Okay, so I got those. Now those coasters were a 606, which I thought was a great deal. Um, so I got that. Now the other things I got was I got some vacuum sealer bags. I got a two pack or two rolls and there was various different sizes and I got the large size so the 11 11 inch okay was 768 okay, I got a, a thing for hair um, with little flowers on it and it's supposed to help with the wispy the wispy ones, the little fine ones. Uh, it was originally $1.98. I had a price adjustment on that twice. Okay. I got a, what I call this, an egg lifter, but it's got the prong on the top so that you got the top and the bottom. Uh, it was $2.78. So that was what I got for this order. So. All right. Now, the other thing was, now, I said in a previous video that I was going to do a video on my makes. Um, but I have a whip here. I'm just going to show you. I will try to link the videos, the first video for this dragon in, in my description box, okay? Um, I have, I can't pronounce her name. Uh, sounds like she's, um, uh, somewhere over in Europe. Okay, so I got, I'm making it with Sweet Snuggles Light. Now I'm doing two at the same time. So this, uh, pattern is on Etsy, so you can buy the PDF for it or you can use the tutorials that she has. Um, she has, she does have a kind of a thicker accent, but um, their video, her videos are subtitled. So you can see what she's saying. You can read what she's saying. Now what I did was I wrote the pattern down. So I watched her videos and I wrote down the pattern so I could make it. So now I'm making it. I am using, and so one is this color. Okay, and the other one I got is, it was the purple. Now, the legs. Um, I had to redo the top of the legs because I had originally Put them this way because the legs you fold in half and you and you uh, single crochet the, the last row so you close them off but I noticed when I was watching another video for clarification on the heart tail okay because the, at the end of the tail has a has a heart so while I was doing that, I noticed that the le that the legs are supposed to be closed off this way. 
so here's the here's your toe so on the side so they go on the sides which I thought it would go this way but it doesn't the tail goes that way okay so then I will show that those once they're done because I started with the, all the extremities so I have the okay, have the tail done have the arms and the legs the ears are um, crocheted right on the head so I haven't done that yet um, I've got the wings done and it has trim go this way and then and then it has a comb or like some of them dragons have spikes so that is down the center now that's done in white now of course you can do it any color you want but um, the ones she sh that she uses for samples are the comb is done, or the trim goes this way, is done the same color as your main body and your head. And so are the nostrils, if you want to put nostrils on it. The ears are, are crocheted on it. The horns are done in white. Once again, it's your choice, but that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the wings and the heart and the trim down the middle and the horns I'm all doing in white and that's Michael's loops and threads sweet snuggles light now the light is a little thinner than the blank than their other like blanket yarn type things same um, loops and threads but and it's right beside each other they had some nicer colors but it's thicker the yarn is thicker which I thought no I I'm not used to use used of um, working with the thicker yarns so I stuck with the light so that's all I have for this one so this may or may not be uploaded I'm going to check and see when I'm expecting my delivery on my next Timu and if it's soon then i'm going to wait and it will be at the end okay so until next time this Lori michelle makes saying don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers bye for now hello everyone welcome to chatelaine makes i'm back i got my other timu order in so i just opened the top so, I got some, this here is floral tape. I got a pack of five. I believe this was a freebie. This here is a tablecloth for our gamer market. Um, when I get it on the table um, set up, I will post a picture in my on my community chat. And I got some more safety eyes, the shimmer ones. I think this is gold. These are 18 mils. I, I've got lots now of 18 mils. I don't need any more. And I got this is floral paper for doing bouquets. This was also a freebie. And that's all I got in that one. So, th whoops, sorry, this one is quick. I will attach this one to the other one that I haven't edited yet. Because I was waiting for this um, delivery. Um, I'm going to take a drink. It looks cool outside, but it's it's not all that cool. But it looks more like a fall day. Of course, I believe today is the first day of fall. So today is Sunday, the 22nd of September. 
All right, like I said, that's all I have. I am still working on my dragons yesterday. I took a break from crocheting and did some diamond painting um, for my markets. These were coasters, Hall Halloween coasters. So I'm going to take those to the market next month. Mark market, it's the anime exhibition. Okay, so that's all I have until, so hope to see you next time and you're um, having a good weekend. So until next time, this is Lorraine Shonley makes saying, don't forget to stop and smell the coffee and the flowers. So bye for now.